Although the Olmec culture has been historically established as having flourished within the now dense jungles of Guatemala, there also exists many pre-Olmec ruins and artifacts that are still baffling researchers and historians alike. The Great Head of Guatemala being one of the most controversial of all. This enormous stone face indicates that not only the Olmecs or indeed native Hispanic race once called Guatemala home. A gigantic, masterfully carved stone head, with a face of fine features, thin lips, and large nose, once engulfed in millennia of vegetation, directed to the sky as if in eternal prayer. The discovery unsurprisingly attracted a lot of attention, yet just as predictably, due to its unquestioned controversy, quickly slipped into the pages of forgotten history. The initial discovery first emerged when Dr. Oscar Rafael Padilla Lara, a doctor of philosophy, lawyer, and notary, received a photograph of the head in 1987. Along with a vague description, it stated that the photograph was taken in the 1950s by the owner of the land and that it was located, quote, somewhere in the jungles of Guatemala. The site was later established to have been 10 kilometers from a small village in the south of Guatemala. However, when Dr. Padilla managed to travel to the site, a short while after the discovery had been widely circulated throughout the country, he found that the site, along with the Caucasian featured stone face, had been obliterated. He stated, quote, it was destroyed by revolutionaries about 10 years ago. We had located the statue too late. It was used as target practice by rebels. This totally disfigured it. Sort of like the way the Sphinx in Egypt had its nose shot off by the Turks. Only worse. The eyes, nose, and mouth had been completely destroyed. End quote. Padilla was able to measure its height as having been between 4 and 6 meters. Although, predictably, the stone head had been destroyed due to its controversial nature, it may still shine light on who was flourishing in the jungles, far before any Olmec had ever stepped foot there. Additionally, and fortunately, the stone head is not the only pre-Olmec statue ever found. Named the Fat Boys, these other artifacts are another set of statues that, although not as racially controversial, possess characteristics even more so for the scientific world. These statues, retrieved and displayed, were discovered many years later to actually contain magnetic elements, which along with a number of anthropomorphic artworks from the same suspected civilization have magnetic characteristics positioned at specific locations. On the Fat Boys, it is found at the navel, although the animal statues seemingly contain them around the faces. So, the question is obvious. How did an ancient culture, located so far back within history, not only know about this magnetism, but manage to create such artworks? Why did they create them? Were they attempting to tell their distant ancestors something? Regardless of the controversy surrounding their creators, they are undoubtedly highly compelling.